on today's class, we're going to do a more yin style class. So it's quite a restorative style of yoga and it's more about moving slowly, moving with your breath, kind of uh, sinking into the poses, letting gravity do the work. So we won't be on our feet at all today or we mostly lying and moving around on the mat. So the yin style of yoga has a similar effect on your body like uh, acupuncture. And the idea behind it actually comes from a Chinese and Taoist philosophy that we have this key energy in our body and it can often get blocked. So by holding the poses for a long time, you're releasing that energy and just allowing your body to soften and renew and restore. So with today being the spring equinox as well, it's nice to just kind of slow down and let your body renew and reset itself now for the new year coming. So if you want to find an easy seat and use something to elevate your hips, it could be a block or a blanket, a pillow, whatever you have. And we'll just slowly bring our hands onto our knees and close our eyes down. Just centering in to yourself. Noticing the breath. Trying to make each inhale and exhale match. Inhaling, adding on length to each inhale and exhaling, adding on length. And when you inhale, notice that your ribs and your chest lift up. And as you exhale, notice how they fall, but also energetically pull your belly button back towards your spine. Inhaling, rib and chest lifting. And exhaling, they sink down as your navel draws in. A few more at your own pace. Inhaling to rise. And exhaling to sink. In our yin practice, this kind of breathing or diaphragmatic breathing is quite useful as it helps you to focus and be present as we hold some poses for a longer amount of time. So you'll really focus in on using your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Noticing any sounds in the room around you or outside, and being aware of them and letting them go. And just take some time to set an intention, something that you want to cultivate more of in your life and maybe during this practice. It can be having more gratitude or having more kindness, being more present in the moment, anything you want. On the next inhale, just allow your eyes to gently open and come sitting on your knees. If this is going to be uncomfortable for you after a while, maybe you want to place a block or a cushion in between your legs behind you. I'll just turn to the side so you can see like that way, but making sure whatever you're using, you're keeping your hips up off your heels so that there's no weight in the heels. So you don't want our 
feet going numb because we'd be sitting here for a little while. So if you have your strap or your belt, whatever you're using, just roll it out and take it out wide. And just play around with maybe where it feels comfortable. So when you inhale, we're gonna sweep our shoulders up and back behind and just finding the right length for you that you can make the turn. So if you're in very close, you're probably not gonna be able to reach around. So just stretching out a bit so that you can easily swing the, shoulder, the arms up and over the head, opening the shoulders. Inhale to move back. And exhale to come forward. So you're not really pushing yourself here for flexibility in a yin class, but you're just looking for nice feelings and sensations in your body. Maybe play with walking the hands in a little on the strap and getting a bit closer. And just finding little sticky spots maybe that you want to hang around in. Take a little break through them and finding the edge where you can push through. Inhale, take it back up. And exhale, take it back. Inhaling forward. And exhaling back, trying to keep the arms nice and straight. So not bending the elbows to make the to make the turn, but keeping if you need to walk the hands out wider, keeping the arms nice and straight. So in the yin practice, we're holding postures supported usually so that your muscles can really lengthen out because the bones are supported. It's about finding maybe a place of comfortable discomfort, no pain, but definitely sensations. So when you're ready, just release the strap and set it off to the side of the mat and bring your hands interlaced at your low back. Try and keep the heels of the hands touching if you can. If not, you can just interlace the fingers and inhale here, lift the chest and exhale. Try and pull the hands down towards the mat, looking up. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, maybe you take the hands a little deeper. Inhale to come back up straight. And exhale, take your hands over to the right hand hip. I'll just swivel around. So the hands are still interlaced. And your left hand is hugging in at your right hip. So Push your right shoulder back or elbow back in a line and keep the shoulders nice and straight. Inhale here and exhale, tilt your right ear towards your right shoulder. You should really feel that on the left side of your neck. You can stay still here if you want to move with your own intuition and just kind of floss the neck a little feeling the different sensations. On an inhale, take the head back up to straight and release the right hand, keeping the left hand where it is. Bring the right hand down to the right thigh. Inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale, twist the head only to the right keeping the shoulders squared. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale back to center. On an inhale, reach the right arm up. And exhale, bring it over to the left 
left thigh. Inhale here and exhale. Twist the head over to the left side. Looking over the left shoulder. You can use your right hand to kind of press into the left thigh. Inhaling here and exhale. Keep the twist and take the right arm up to the sky. And keep the, allow the left hand to walk up the middle of your back. So I'll just turn around so you can see. So your left hand is kind of sneaking up into between your shoulder blades. And then when it can't reach anymore, bend your right elbow with internal rotation of your right bicep and lower the two hands to connect. If they don't connect, you can use your strap in your right hand when you reach up and exhale when you reach down, you should be able to catch your strap for your cow face arms, Gomukhasana arms. So from here, if you have the binder, you have the strap, round into your upper back to challenge the binder, the strap. Inhale, you can stay here or exhale, you can take the forehead down to the mat. It doesn't really matter if you take the head down, it's more important that you're rounding the back. Inhaling here. Feeling the sensations. Not too letting it go. And an inhale, rise back up if you were lowered down and release the arms slowly and bring the arms out wide and take your right arm under the left for eagle arms. So the right arm sweeps under the left elbow and then you clasp your hands together so you're in this kind of twisted arm position. On an inhale, lift the chest and lift the elbows up. And on your exhale, lower the chest and sink in on yourself. A few more like that. Inhaling to lift. And exhaling to sink. Inhale, take it up. And exhale. Lowering to yourself. Inhale up, exhale, come back to center and release the clasp of your hands and just give yourself a little hug. You can maybe roll the shoulders and lift the chest. Inhale, open the arms out really wide and press the arms back like you're getting ready to give someone a really big hug. <laughs> Maybe someone you haven't been able to hug for the last year. <laughs> Inhaling and exhale, release it back. And we'll do that all on the left hand side. So with our arms clasped behind, take the arms. This time, clasp your hand so that your left thumb is on the top and take them over to the left hip. Hugging your left elbow in towards the spine. Inhaling up and exhaling. On an inhale, drop your left ear towards the left shoulder, feeling that stretch in the left side of your neck. Using your breath to maybe flop into the neck, just gently moving the chin forwards and backwards. On an inhale, release 
the left arm up to the sky and take it down to the left thigh, keeping the right hand where it is. Inhale, lengthen and exhale. Twist looking over the left shoulder, keeping the shoulders squared to the front. Inhale, take the head back to center. Reach the left arm up and exhale. Take it over to the right thigh and twist your upper, your head around to look over your right shoulder. Inhaling here and imagine you're almost doing like a back bend. So your head is reaching back behind you as you flex your right hand and shimmy it up in between the shoulder blades. Inhale here and exhale, come back to center, keeping that back bend position in the upper body and sweep the left arm up, internal rotation in the left bicep, bend at the left elbow and try to connect the left fingertips with the right or using your strap in the left hand to drop down and catch with your right. Inhale here and then round the upper back to test your grip or your, even if you're holding the strap, it should make it a little more tense. Inhale and stay here or if you want to, you can take the forehead down to the mat. Again, rounding the upper back is more important here as really leaning forward doesn't really change the sensation. And inhaling, coming back to that deep diaphragmatic breath, using it to get through your comfortable discomfort. Inhaling, filling up the ribs and chest. And as you exhale, drawing the navel back towards the spine. Oh, in yin yoga, there's a lot of time holding positions and a lot of time to sit with your thoughts. On an inhale, we'll rise back up and gently release the clasp for your strap and take the arms out wide and take the left arm under the right elbow, going for our eagle arms on the opposite side. Inhale, lift the elbows, lift the chest. And exhale, sink the elbows in and around the spine. Inhale, lifting up, looking up, and exhaling, sinking in onto yourself. Inhaling to come up, and exhaling, filling in. Inhale, take it back to center and release the clasp on the hands and just take the arms on opposite shoulders, rolling the shoulders and as you lift the chest, stretching out the back, upper thoracic spine. Inhale, release the arms out to a T and take them back behind you. Inhaling here and exhale, take the hands back out, bring them into the chest and interlace the fingers, turn the palms out away from you and exhale, push the palms out as you round your spine. Inhale, take the arms up overhead, stretching the arms. Exhale, bend the elbows and take the backs of your hands down to the top of your head. 
inhale take it back up and exhale twist to the right inhale back to center drop the hands to the head take it back up and exhale twist to the left inhale back to center Exhale, push the palms out back to the front as you round into the spine. And inhale, bring them back into your chest. Do one more round like that. Exhale, push the palms away. Rounding through the upper back. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, bend the elbows to the palms come to the top of the head. Inhale, take it back up and twist to the right. Inhale, looking back to center. Palms come back to meet the top of the head. Take it back up and exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, take the hands out in front as you round the upper back. Pushing the palms away. Inhale, take them back to center. And exhale, release the hands back onto the thighs and just take a little minute here. Center yourself. Inhale, exhale. On your next inhale, come to a tabletop position. Just moving any props out of your way, but keeping them within reach. And from tabletop, just gently, maybe you need to tap your feet after sitting on them like that hopefully not if you were if your props were taking your weight but sometimes the feet can get a little pins and needlesy so on an inhale lift your right leg back behind you and flex the foot stretching it out and then make circles with the knees just totally go at your own pace and your own intuition Finding what feels nice in your body. Working into the hips here. You can change directions if you were going in one way. Just really working with your own range of motion. Replace the right knee back down onto the mat. And then we'll repeat that on the left. So inhale. Press the left foot back behind you, flex the foot. Inhale here to hold it and exhale, bend at the knee. Just take your knee circles. Just working through any areas of tightness or stickiness. Play with flexing or pointing the foot. See what feels better for you. Maybe change directions if you were going in just one. and replace the left knee down onto the mat. So from here, I'm just gonna twist my mat around so you can see better. We're gonna do a supported frog posture. So I find it nice to roll my mat in on each side like this, maybe twice, just to support under the knees. Or you can use blankets cushions, whatever you have handy. And we'll come with our knees wide and the feet are flexed behind. So there's a 90 degree bend between your knee and your shin and then again between your ankle and your foot. And get your pillows or bolster, whatever you have to prop yourself up. And here you wanna keep 
the hips in line with your knees and then lower onto your forearm and if you need to build it up more with more height to take to make it more supportive you can just keep adding stuff on <laughs> make a little tower and rest your upper body down onto your little fortress that you built <laughs> I'm trying to keep the heat knee, hips back in line with the knees. So you're not going too far forward, otherwise you're not really going to feel it. But finding that spot where you do feel sensations. And because your bones are supported by your little fortress here, your muscles can release. You can lie, you can lie your face down if you need. You can look forward or to the side. And we'll just stay here for a few minutes. And eventually gravity is going to do the work for you. So maybe you can remove one of your layers and go a bit deeper. Maybe you're happy where you are. Use your own intuition and how it feels in your body. Trying to find a place of stillness eventually once you've found your happy place. The idea is not to fidget or move, but just being still, being present. And taking this time to go within. This style of yoga works on our deep connective tissue of fascia, our ligaments, tendons. So it works on a deeper level than maybe the more yang styles of yoga where we're moving quickly like vinyasas. Just because this isn't as rigorous or vigorous on your body, it doesn't mean that it's not challenging. Just in a different way. holding these poses for a long time actually helps us to get more flexible and by Staying in these positions for longer than 30 seconds or a minute. We're hacking into our nervous system and instead of creating that fight or flight response, it's letting your body know it's okay. Using the breath and the body.
on an inhale, bring the hands back under the shoulders and slide the toes back so they come to meet so that you can press the weight mirror back into your knees and bring the knees back together. Just take yourself out of the position. I'm just gonna swivel myself back. <laughs> And this time, come into our Baddha Konasana posture. So our bound angle, the feet are, soles of the feet are touching, sitting up tall. And actually take the feet out a little further, like more like making a diamond shape with the legs. And we'll get our little fortress again and put, put it on our feet. And if you want, you can use your blocks or other smaller cushions under your knees or under the muscles of your upper thigh, just to support the legs. Inhale here and exhale. Fold forward onto your bolster pillows. And just try and soften, soften and release. And in that place of comfort, even in the discomfort. Rules of yoga say our, our issues are in our tissues. <laughs> when we work deeply into these smaller parts of the body, sometimes old traumas and emotions in the body can get released. And it's totally normal. Just observe any emotions or feelings that come to the surface. And acknowledge them. And slowing down and taking this time and really get to know ourselves and uncover these hidden things maybe we're just pushing down or ignoring or we don't want to deal with. Just using the time on your mat to observe yourself. without any judgment. And just acceptance. Acceptance to be totally yourself.
On the next inhale, slowly rise up to seated. And if you had blocks under your legs, you can remove them out of the way and slide the legs out to each side. You don't have to be super wide, just somewhere where it's comfortable. Keeping your legs flexed will take a supported straddle using your bolster. Maybe you can make a little ramp underneath with your blocks to give yourself some more height. And just leaning forward, keeping the feet flat. <laughs> Maybe you, if you're using a block or something under, you can interlace the hands around. And just let gravity slowly, little by little, breath by breath. Take you down as you melt into your pillows. And of course, you have the option to make this more effort and pull yourself down deeper, but that can maybe cause tension or stress in the body and there's this style of yin yoga and we're trying not to do that. We want to send calming signals and let your body know it's okay. Not forcing anything, but just letting it happen. Letting go, sometimes letting go is the hardest thing to do. Sometimes holding on to something does more damage than just letting go. Like if you were to try and hold on to a rope that's moving, you're gonna hurt your hand, so. Having this awareness and this intelligence, knowing when to tell your body to let go. Maybe as you let go more and more, you can release some of the support and go a little bit deeper. Breathing through anything that comes up, so it can help to inhale deeply and maybe exhale. Try anything out the mouth. Letting go what you don't want. Noticing how powerful your breath is. At Helping your body to calm, helping the mind to calm. And being aware that in life, every exercise. 
exhale is guaranteed, but every inhale is not. I'm having gratitude for each inhale. Each new chance to feel alive. On an inhale, slowly rise back up to seated. Maybe you need to shuffle the legs out a little bit, just lifting the knees and sliding the legs around just to shake out any tension if it was built up and we'll stay in our position and just take your block or your pillow take a little heart bench after all that forward folding so place the block underneath your shoulder blades and just gently lay over it allowing the shoulder heads to roll down to the mat Feet are wide, the palms are facing up. We just spent a lot of time folded in on ourselves, and now it's nice to counter that and reset and opening chest back up. If you want to here, you can bring your feet together, the soles of your feet into Baddha Konasana and stay lying down in your chest opener. Or if you want to make it more comfy, you can get your big pillows and place them at the lower back. It can also be nice maybe to elevate your hips up on a blanket or a cushion just so they're a little higher up keeping the soles of the feet together, bolster comes into the sacrum and then just lay back over, allowing the chest to open. If you want, you can put support under the outer thighs. If you have any discomfort on the inner groin, or if you want to make it a little more intense, you can turn your pillows lengthways so that when you roll back over the crown of your head and reach to the mat, just making it more of a back bend and a chest opener. Inhaling here and exhaling. Arms are wide and completely surrendered. Opening yourself up. Being completely present. Noticing every sensation in the body. Maybe you do a quick scan of the body or a slow scan, starting from the crown of the head and noticing what it feels like in each part. Where do you need to send your breath? Obviously, our breath goes in and out our lungs, but sometimes if you're breathing through tension and you imagine you're sending the breath to that tense spot, it helps.
taking this time to allow yourself to just be no expectation about postures or alignment or how it should look like or how it should feel. It's just enjoying. On an inhale, slowly tuck the chin and push yourself up to seated. If you had blocks under the legs, just move them out of the way. And staying up maybe on your elbows, just windshield wiper your legs, taking the feet as wide as the mat, allowing the knees to switch from side to side. And the next time your knees are over to your right, Swivel yourself so your right hip is on the mat and your legs are in kind of a 1990. So your thigh is coming out parallel and then perpendicular. So 1990. And then take your elbow and kind of like you're a teenager telling someone some gossip lying on your bed, having the chat. <laughs> Think into it. And if you want to stay here, stretch the arm out, your choice. Maybe you want to actually move those pillows back so they're nice and long, keeping them close into your hip. And then maybe you turn so that your whole body lies down and you're in this kind of twist. And you can bring the cheek to the mat. Or the pillow. And if you want to take it further into the cervical spine, into your neck, you can turn so that you're looking to the opposite side. And just enjoy this twist. If you're tired on your legs to keep it in that 1990, you can, of course, just line the knees up. You can play with walking the arms out towards the top or end of the mat. And when you're ready, slowly come out the way you went in, bringing the neck back to center if it was turned, and then back to the side, taking that elbow back under to support the head. And coming back up so your legs are in your windshield wiper position, and then taking it over to the other side, taking your variation. Your gossip pose, you can stay here, you can straighten the arm out, you can bring the upper body down onto your pillows, and stay here looking forward, you can of course mash the knees up if that's too hard on the hip, you can play with walking the hands out and finally if you want to turn the head to the opposite direction of the knees and rest.
sending the breath where it needs to go. So it's just a nice restful position. Just enjoying, allowing yourself the time to rest constructively. And slowly, when you're ready, come out of the pose the same way you went in, supporting the head, pressing back up, coming up so that your knees are bent, and then windshield wiper, legs. So from here, remove your pillows or whatever you were using and come lying down on your mat. Grab your strap and as you lie down, bring your right foot up and hook your strap around. The left foot is on the mat flex. And maybe you wrap your hands once and then twice around your strap or your belt, scarf, whatever you, how you have handy. So that then your arms don't really have to pull, they're just, you can leave them heavy. Just holding the leg up straight. If you need to bend the left, me a little to make it easier feel free and if you want to make it a little more effort by pulling your right foot closer in towards your face just feel free to choose the options that serve your body today because every day we're going to feel a little different some days you don't want to push yourself really hard. Some days you want to just stretch. Inhale here and pass from your right hand, pass the strap into the left. Release your right arm over to the right and bring your right foot over to the left hand side. And allow your gaze to go over to the right as you energetically imagine your right foot pulling up towards your left shoulder. You should feel a really nice stretch on your right IT band all in the outside of your right knee. Maybe recline big toe, hand to big toe pose, or just padahasan gunstasana. Find your tongue twister. Just breathing through the sensation. Keeping your left foot flexed, but it's okay if the outer edge of your left foot has rolled over to the left. You don't need to keep it pointed up. On your next inhale, take your right leg back up to center and switch the hand. So maybe your right hand wraps around your strap once or twice, release it from the left hand. Take the left arm out to the left and your gaze to the left and bring your right leg over to the right. Imagining your right foot coming towards your right shoulder. Take your left hand to your left hip 
and try and keep your hips squared towards the ceiling. So you're not gonna be able to drop the foot as far, but get more sensation. Keeping the hips and shoulders squared on the mat. Maybe there's some shaking happening in that right leg. That's just our body's response. So work to send the breath. And maybe gravity after a little bit allows that right foot to fall closer to the ground. As you use your right hand to steady it keeping the hips squared to the ceiling. Both shoulders are on the mat. Breathing. And just enjoying. This should feel nice and good in your body. On an inhale, take that leg back up to center and switch the feet. So bring the left foot into the strap and take the right leg down to the mat, keeping the feet flexed. You can keep a little bend in that knee if you need to and then wrap the hands around the strap again, twice, just so it makes it easier to, on the arms, so you're not really working the arms here, it's all in the leg. Inhale here, exhale. I'm just noticing, but not, judging how it feels different in each side of your body. So we all have one side that's stronger maybe or one side that's maybe more flexible. They could be opposites. We're not symmetrical. This is totally normal. On an inhale, pass the strap over into your right hand. Take the left hand out to the left, so allow the gaze to fall to the left and bring the right foot over, the left foot over to the right hand side. Energetically reaching your left toes towards the right shoulder. Your right arm supports the weight in the strap. And not pulling on it, just supporting. Feeling that stretch in the left IT band, the outside of the knee. And allowing the gaze to fall to the left. And starting to stretch your outer knees as the IT band where people pull them a lot, especially runners. It's really hard to treat to relax them. And an inhale, take it back to the center and pass your strap or belt over into your left hand, wrapping it once and taking it left leg over to the left. Taking your right hand to your right hip, making sure your hips are still squared to the top of the mat. Shoulders are on the mat and you can take your gaze to the right as your left foot energetically 
comes towards your left shoulder. So working on keeping the hips squared and closed. Maybe your leg doesn't go down as low, but you're getting more sensation. And that's what we're here for. <laughs> Send the breath to the left inner thigh. Keep the hips squared and grounded, the shoulders grounded. And maybe with the time, the breath and the help from gravity, your leg is maybe inched a little bit closer to the ground while also inching up to your left shoulder. And inhale, take it back up to center. Release your strap. And just maybe shake the legs a little bit. From side to side. Maybe roll out the ankles a little, keeping the feet flexed like that. Sometimes it's hard on the ankles. And from here, roll slowly up to sitting. And if you want to, for your Shavasana, you can roll a blanket or a towel or whatever you have and place it under your knees to elevate the knees. It's your choice. Oh, this one's gonna be better for me. Some people might find it nice to make a little elevation for their head just or not just trying to make yourself as comfortable as possible as we lay down for our final resting pose and sometimes keeping blocks on your hands with the wrists the palms facing up so your index knuckle is in contact with the block it can be nice just to weigh the hands down a little if at any stage that's causing any kind of tension or stress in the wrists then leave the blocks aside Taking a moment to settle in here. Relaxing after all that deep tissue, deep connective work. And letting it all integrate in the body. Shavasana is the easiest posture to do physically but mentally it's not so easy to switch your mind off and try and just be and the goal is to try and find a place between 
being awake and being asleep, that kind of middle ground. And if you struggle to kind of quiet the mind, you can try a breathing technique where you go inhale, chest lifts, one, exhale, chest sinks, one, inhale, chest lifts, two, and exhale, chest sinks, two. And keep saying that silently to yourself as you inhale and exhale. And if you lose your way or your number position, it doesn't matter. Just start again from one. If you lie here, sinking into your mat, you know and trust that you're fully supported by the ground. just as you support so many people in your life a lot of people who support you and people who you've never even met as we're all connected and we're all part of this bigger picture
taking a moment to send gratitude out to all those people who support you and who you support. And just having gratitude for taking this time out to work on yourself and your own self-care. Gratitude for every breath you take in. Gratitude for this body and everything it does for you. Gratitude for this life. Slowly start to bring your awareness back to your breath, back to your physical body. Start to make some small movements with the fingers and toes, the wrists and the ankles. Gently bringing yourself back to life. From our corpse pose. Bring the big toes to touch and hook the thumbs and sweep the arms up overhead. Inhale to take a big morning stretch. Exhale. Release. Your right hand side, hugging the knees into the chest, and making a little pillow. And if you wish, you bright bicep. Maybe if you had a pillow under, you can, your blanket, you can, you can do that. Hugging the knees in. Taking a moment. To prepare yourself to re-enter the world after your yin yoga practice. On an inhale, press into your left hand and keeping the eyes closed, come up to an easy seat position. Take the palms of your hands to your knees, your upper thighs. Sit up straight with the shoulders over the hips. Crown of the head is reaching towards the ceiling. Just noticing your body and how it feels. What's different from the start of class? This yin style of yoga, we go deep within ourselves. Maybe your body is humming. So 
absolutely normal. On an inhale, bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Take a minute to tuck the chin and bow the head. And thank yourself and thank your body for taking this time and showing up completely for you. Knowing that this practice gives you a chance to see yourself where you truly are and know that we're all connected. May all beings be happy, may all beings be peaceful, may all beings be free. Namaste.